Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our end of May 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLC 250 petrol AMG night edition with the premium plus pack automatic so nine speed automatic. This car has covered just 14,266 miles I think it is with full Mercedes service history. It's a one owner vehicle from new, finished in selenite gray metallic. So the night edition basically has like the black pack. So you've got the black grills and the black around the windows, black wing mirrors, black and diamond cut wheels. So it really contrasts really nicely with the metallic gray paintwork. Now the entire car has been machine polished and has come up absolutely beautiful. As always, I'm going to bring you down low on this side first, just so that you can see down the side of the car. And with that reflection, you can just see that there's not been any damage on the vehicle. You can see that the panels are nice and sharp and clean, no ripples at all. It's a very genuine car, this. We've got the LED headlights as well, and the black gloss trim at the very bottom, which is usually chrome. I'll just come up. Now, this has also got a few nice extras. The car's fitted with the 360 cameras. So you've got cameras underneath the wing mirrors and one just below the Mercedes grill just here. Now the front bumper has, it's not really got any peppering on it at all. I can't really, I'm just scanning around. No, there's nothing down there. And if you look at those headlights, it's obviously very low mileage, so it's not really had a lot of use. There's no little chips in the headlights at all. Got front parking sensors, park assist, little self park. Just bring you back out, show you this side, and you can see that reflection again. We've got the running boards on the side as well. I'm just going to bring you over the bonnet now. So I'm just going to move nice and slowly across the front here. And you can just see how nice it is in night edition. You've got the black Mercedes badge there as well. So no chips there. And if I move further back across the bonnet, you can see there is no damage up there. Nothing on the wings. And one thing I'm going to point out there's a chip on the windscreen here. Now we've got a brand new windscreen behind me, which came from Mercedes. We've got the panoramic roof. And as I say, black gloss wing mirrors. Now we haven't had the screen fitted yet because they're busy and they can't get in till maybe the end of the week. And I wanted to get the video done so that we could show you the vehicle. Now, what I'll do, I'm just going to bring you around. The windscreen's over on the side, but it's over there. This is the bill, and it's all paid for. Windshield. You see how much it was, and then we've got to pay for fitting. So we knew that that needed to be replaced. It's just a bit unfortunate that a stone came up and hit it. Now, we've got servicing 2020 oil change, all done by Mercedes-Benz Group. Then again in 2021, done by Mercedes-Benz. And then November 2022, and that was the biggest service with the spark plugs were done as well. Let me just see, get that in focus. So not due another service to the end of the year. Oh, and uh, one owner, no previous owners. We've obviously got to stamp out the previous owners. We're not allowed to show people's addresses. So I just wanted to point that out. That will be replaced and it is from Mercedes. So, you know, it's going to have exactly the same screen. So really nice color this. So there we have it. Now let's have a look at the wheels. None of the wheels have got any damage on them going to check the tyres 
five and a half to six mil on the front one. Same on the back, Pirelli Scorpion. I think they're Verdi. So all of the wheels in really nice condition. Now if I come around like so, all of the towel lights have been machine polished. If I get down low, see the bumper down there. No damage, no damage on the tailgate. Obviously you get reverse cameras, part of the 360 cameras. All those exhausts shining as well. And the rear cameras fold away on these, so it keeps them clean. So when you do need to see out the back, you're not uh, impaired by mud or dirty water that's got onto the camera. Just show you around the filler cap. Again, no damage. And I think, yeah, these tires are all the same. All matching and lots of tread. No damage on the side steps. Show you the front wheel, no damage. Yeah, so all those tires, I'd say they're on a good six mil actually. I'm used to putting my fingers in the tread to measure them, and there's generally a bit more on them. So, really nice looking vehicle. And if is Darius there? Okay, if you could get me the water bottle for the windscreen in a minute to show the sunroof. Okay, I just remembered something that I wanted to show. Okay, let's take a look inside now that we've had a good look round it. Now there's keyless entry. We can lock the door by pressing our thumb on there and open it by just placing our hand inside. Now the premium plus package is considerably dearer, generally more than twice the price of a premium package. So you've got the sunroof. Now you also get the Burminster or Burmester sound system. Got the memory seats, both sides, even the headrests are electric. The front part of the seat will move out. Let's do it now in focus. It's all electric, as is all the height. And then we've got electric lumber on the side to inflate the seat at the bottom to give you more comfort. Oh, sorry, wrong button. There we go. More support, sorry, for your back. And then we've got, now they say it's like a wood finish but it's, it's actually a plastic that looks like wood. And then you can write on the mouse here to put destinations in. I'll show you more of this when we come round. You've got electric column. You've got the command screen, the bigger screen with the hard drive. So with the electric column, you get what's called easy, easy entry or easy access, I think it might be called. So if the steering wheel's set low down and you turn the car off, it will actually move the steering wheel up out of the way. And then when you get back in the vehicle, it will then move back into its position. So all of the door cards, there's no damage on them. So I'm just going around. I'm trying to remember everything. I've been quite busy today amongst trying to get some videos done. There's multiple different colors you can have inside the car. It's on sort of a, like an orangey amber at the moment. We've got center armrest there that comes out, Isofix. No damage on the seats, no scuffing on the rear front seats. Contrasting stitching there. Now, if we come around to the back, you can either pull the handle or just with the key in your pocket, wave your foot just under the bumper and it will automatically lift up out of the way. I'm gonna show you the top of the bumper. So these are all the areas that 
traditionally get damaged or scratched and you will see this is all in really nice condition and all of the carpets. Now you've got like a quick release button, whoops, sorry, in the back, just on the side here. And if you pull that, the seat will just drop down. If we look under here, we've got quite a lot of space under here. The plastic square there, actually turns into a box so it folds down flat you've got some netting which i think clips in behind the back seats you've got a cargo net locking wheel nut triangle first aid kit and quite a bit of storage room under there oh and you can also i think that parcel shelf might fit under there but okay now if we look up on the top here no scratches. Quite often these can get quite badly scuffed, but no damage up there. And then because we've got the keyless entry, we can not, uh, not only just uh, lower the tailgate from here, but you can completely lock the car up with the padlock button. Or again, just waving your foot underneath like so. The boot will close down on its own which is a really great feature if you're trying to carry a box out of the car or into the car, all nice and clean in here. And uh, very importantly, it will run on E5, E10 fuel, 95 octane, all your tire pressures are in there. Open up the back door here. we we'll just move that seat back up. Again, Door card on this side, no damage, no punctures on, uh, puncture wounds in the final at all. No damage around here. Check out the seat. That's just a bit of fluff. Yep, it is. Let's get that out of the car. There we go. So all nice in there and no scuffing on that center section there. I've checked all the door edges, all the door edges are nice, no damage on those. All around the door handle here, really nice condition. Just turn these lights off for a second. Okay, driver's door card, again, no damage, no damage down the edge. Obviously, puddle lights at the bottom there. And illuminated door seals, both sides at the front. All the original badges, driver's seat. Center armrest. No damage there. Steering wheel, really nice condition. And then we've got buttons there for the 360 cameras, your lights, parking brake as well. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the key. Actually, let's just show you. Oh, the light is uh, very difficult for me today. There we go. I'll jump in in just a sec, just want to try and... Panoramic roof. Okay, in we go. So keyless start. And... Okay. Let's flick through here till we get the... There you go, 14266 is the mileage. And we've got buttons, so the gear shift is just here. We've got pedal shift. It's a 9G gearbox, so 9 speed. We've got voice control. And buttons.
buttons over here. Now, if you press the home button, you can click down through the display to have either the navigation, radio. Let's just turn this on actually over here and turn the sound down. And then you can flick through the stations there. Let's try and get a better grip on this. There we go. And we've got media. Now, being that this has got the um, command system, which is the higher spec navigation system, they don't usually, unless you spec it above, have Apple CarPlay. Now, there might be companies out there that you can actually fit that with or have it installed. Traffic sign assist, so it'll let you know the speed of the road that you're on. Brake assist is like your anti-collision and attention assistance stop you uh, falling asleep at the wheel. Let's just go service settings. What else was in there? Instrument cluster. Okay, and then vehicle. Yep, not too much in there. Okay, so we'll come out of there. Now this is where you can adjust the steering column just here. Sorry, it's too close to the steering wheel there. Now we're in vehicle settings. So we can either use the wheel here, and it's like a joystick as well, or this is like a, a sensory sort of pad. Now the 360 cameras, so we can press down on the top. Now straight away on the left, you can see the 360 camera showing you all the way around using all the cameras. We've got the rear view camera here. If you look up at the top here, um, how do we change that? That's, oh sorry, couldn't see that. <laughs> so there's a 360 view, so that's a wider rear view. Uh, that's the front view, sorry. Okay, and then if I just put it in drive. Okay. Um, now I think I need to press the camera button on the other side. Okay, so we've got different views there. I'm just trying to remember. I'm sure that pops across the other one to it. Okay. So that is the two views at the back. And if not, we've got that view. Yeah, that is the views. So slightly different on this vehicle. Oh, I've got it now. So this is showing you the rear of the car. And if we put it in drive, it's gonna show you the front of the car. Right, okay, there are so many different variants in different cars now, it gets a bit confusing. So we can go into navigation, and we can increase the size of the screen. Nice, much nicer graphics on the command system. And then we've got radio, dab radio. We can also go into, let's try and get this brightness sorted out, media discs, memory cards, music register is the hard drive, so you can download music into the vehicle. If we go to car, consumption, owner's manual time, vehicle settings, this is where, oh sorry, I didn't realize we're out of focus then. We've got quite a lot of light coming in. Um, automatic folding mirrors, uh, location illuminator, central. Interior, interior lighting shuttle, interior motion, ambient lighting. God, there's quite a few in here. So you can change to three different colors, but so you can have it in blue. So everything lights up in blue under here, or you can have white, or the amber that we're on in the first place. I'm gonna flick it back to blue, because I think blue looks best. And then we've got the brightness, Sorry. Ah, here we have easy entry and exit. So, ooh. Okay. 
where did that go? There it is. I'm trying to watch the screen and look at this at the same time. So that's on now. So in fact, I'll show you that. So steering wheel, as soon as I open the door, that steering wheel just moved up. And then if you watch, as I start the vehicle, it just moves down into position. Okay, now the other switches we have, so we've got volume here, traction control, turn off the stop start, manual control for the gearbox, so you can hold it manual, and then you've got your dynamic um, driving. Now, if I hold this a bit closer, I'm hoping the light coming through the window. There we go. So we've got economy, comfort, sport and sport plus and then the last one should be individual which we can adapt so we can choose we've highlighted the engine so we click into that we can have that on comfort sport plus sport or economy so we'll put it on sport for example and then we can have the climate control so this adjusts the amount of power that the engine will take to run the climate and the air conditioning. We can put that on economy or comfort. Stop, start, on or off. And then the weight of the steering, comfort or sport. So you can adapt that one to suit your needs. The other thing I was just gonna show you, we can synchronize the climate control just here. Now this button, if you pull this down, that brings up your climate. If I press that synchronize button, you can flip it to two different temperatures for either side of the car. Fan speeds over here. So we've still got functional buttons to change things, which I like. And you've got your um, temperatures either side. Shortcuts for the media there. We've got a 12 volt socket in here. This uh, is a cup holder that you can take out i'm just trying to remember which way oh that's locked in and then you can just take it out if you want a bit more room in there and then you can lock it off and then in here you can put your leads to charge your usb you've got an sd card as well in there plenty of space okay now that's um we've got an electric blind and then the panoramic roof will open all the way back. I think there are two positions, so it might just stop. Just gonna have to put that temperature up. It's getting a bit cold. And the blind back. Now, I've done that for a reason, because I want one of the guys to open the bonnet for me. So I'm running out of hands, <laughs> so, okay. So we jump out. Thanks, Darius. And you've got a spray. Okay. So I'm just going to show you under the bonnet here. So 208 brake horsepower on this engine. Like I say, nine-speed gearbox. Really nice and clean, and it's all been serviced with Mercedes. And that's it's running. I'm just going to turn it off for a second and grab the key. There we go. So I don't want to talk over the engine. So this is all clean by hand. They're generally only sort of dusty. We don't really want to be uh, putting a jet wash into a petrol car's engine bay. There's way too many electrics in there. So all lovely and clean. Let's just pull this down. Always good to bring it down to about 12 inches and then just slam it from there. Now imagine we've gone out for lunch. We've left the roof open. We've locked the car up. So we'll just put our thing on here to lock it. And Darius is just gonna come around the other side and it begins to rain. There's a sensor just up on the top of the screen there. 
and you'll see that automatically the roof will close and it will leave itself in the vented position. So your car basically won't get full of water, but it'll let the heat out on a hot sunny day, sunny day when you get that little storm shower come over. So very clever, beautiful looking vehicle. We've got lots of various finance options from HP, PCP, lease purchase, and uh, the rates just come down to 9.9, .9, which is good. Uh, we've got some extended warranties that you can take out that are absolutely, they cover so many items on the car. There are way too many to list. They even cover um, oil seals and gaskets on the extended warranties. And you can take up to four years, at a fraction of the cost of what you'd pay at some of the dealers. And you can take various different claim limits, the maximum being up to the value of the vehicle. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Look, to, uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Bye.